In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with you as well. We gather together knowing that even though we may be isolated from family and friends, we are united in spirit, God's spirit, God's gracious and loving spirit as we journey through this serious time, knowing that indeed we remain faithful and we are people of hope. To prepare ourselves today, let us be mindful of our need for God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you speak true wisdom. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you give us priceless treasures. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us the reign of God. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast, even now, to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading today is from the first book of Kings. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, Ask something of me and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, O Lord my God, you have made me your servant, king, to succeed my father David. But I am a mere youth, not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. So God said to him, Because you have asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, nor for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding so that you may know what is right, I do as you requested. I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now. And after you, there will come no one to equal you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, I love your commands. Lord, I love your commands. I have said, O Lord, that my part is to keep your words. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Lord, I love your commands. Let your kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servants. Let your compassion come to me that I may live. For your law is my delight. Lord, Lord I love your commands. For I love your commands more than gold, however fine. For in all your precepts I go forward. Every false way I hate. Lord, I love your commands. Wonderful are your decrees, therefore I observe them. The revelation of your words sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. Lord, I love your commands. Our second reading is from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called, and those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, 
he also glorified. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for you have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, to the Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus, it will be at the end of age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, Yes. And he replied, Then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, as we celebrate our faith in this Eucharist, we know that we are in the midst of trouble, we are in the midst of pandemic, and we are fearful, we are lonely, we are depressed. So many more people are depressed these days, they say, because of this isolation, this separation, this fear that we all face. But thanks be to God, we have our gift of faith to help us survive, to grow in spite of this. I like to think of the search for the vaccine, for the cure for the prevention of the pandemic as a vaccine is perhaps something like in today's parables. It's something that we strive for, it's something we, it's the ideal, it's a cure, but at the same time we have to accept what is surrounding it. And so what surrounds it is the negative, the virus, the illness, and we have, we need to have that patience to somehow find that vaccine so that in a sense, it becomes like the reign of God. It's life, it's breath, it's hope, it's the future. So that in spite of all the things that we strive for, we know that we seek the reign of God. Solomon, in today's first reading, could have had anything he wished for. He could have had wealth, he could have had a longer life, but he asked God for understanding, having an understanding heart, because that indeed is what the reign of God is about. So that we are not just alone, seeking our own self-fulfillment, but we are seeking a common good. We're seeking the good of others as we share the reign of God. So today let us be mindful of God's presence, our hope and joy in the Lord as we continue our journey of faith, seeking the reign of God in our lives. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Today we present to the Lord these our petitions. For all who minister of the church, eager to share its lasting treasure, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For wise leaders and brave public servants, for those running for office, 
working patiently for peace in a violent world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who work in difficult, unjust conditions, seeking fair pay and a safe environment, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who care for the sick and the dying, showing the Lord's love in their daily actions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all here at East Castle, for the residents, for the staff, that we may continue to help each other as we work journey in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, you offer eternal joy and freedom. Grant what we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Creator. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of, Lord, of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. <coughs> Accept, O Lord. <coughs> Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these mortal sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal salvation, gladness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to the gifts of yours that by, sin, by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation to your claim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the abiding blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in the presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Bishop, and all those who give of ministry and service within your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, 
our patrons, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray with trust and confidence in Jesus' words. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. The, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory, glory are yours now, now and forever. And forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your followers, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. We ask you today to look not upon our sins, but rather upon the faith that we share as your church. And graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold the one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that really you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And so we pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit for us salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing be upon us all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. We go forth this week to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. God bless you.